these soft uh, yeah I always I love I always love these when we started doing our wood henge um, which was a leftover of a whole pile of wood that was over there um, we then did all of our wood or, or tree clearance cutting back trying to preserve the the ash trees as much as possible and then we created our wood wall so this is all sort of coming into sort of the second phase or the final phase of, of works here The initial brief and kind of images came and they were inspired by uh, Marcel Calbera, who's an architect who works in living structures, in particular kind of Libyan willow. And uh, his thing was kind of taking the marsh Arabs uh, concept of putting reeds together and building temples out of huge um, tree trunk like sort of forms um, of, of reed. And then that would be clad and sort of thatched. Um, and, uh, and he took that and kind of put the living structures, living willow on a giant scale. So now he produces like enormous cathedrals, kind of 50 times the size of this, which is just insane. Having spoken to yourself, Randall, and the kind of the, the sort of and the brief that came forward, um, this seemed quite a fitting sort of solution. Um, and I tend to work with a steelwork and a willow. Yeah. So there's this sort of combination of two things. So. Um, we've been using uh, art fabrication to kind of I've built, we built, we built all of this, yeah. Um, and uh, said so I'll make a scale model, and then that will be kind of produced on on a, on a big scale. Well, I remember we we had the scale model, and then we sort of said a bit bigger, a bit higher. <laughs> exactly. So, albeit yeah. a meter difference. Yeah, yeah, but but it's <coughs> that kind of um, that boldness in the landscape that you kind of that's the thing you sort of saw you thought you needed it yeah. and yeah. you're absolutely right now it's here yeah because uh the landscape's so big yeah it is um so uh and yeah the great, and the great thing is uh, having our backdrop here for it <laughs> yeah absolutely. otherwise it would looked a bit it would look a bit sort of insular if it wouldn't have something to, to sort of give it the full back full yeah. back yeah. It, it is like a kind of it's something um it's a framing isn't it yeah, in, in a sense yeah um, so with having the steelworks in place, um, which was you know a several months kind of fabrication, um, we're on site. Uh, we had a few days yesterday, last week installing, and now we're working on the, the living elements, so the willows. And these are, these come from a um, company in Somerset that I've used for 25 years for kind of making all sorts of willowy things, and they're they're brilliant. They're the best, and um, they've they've sent me a caladendron which is this beautiful consistent long stem but i don't know how they do it and i don't know how they do it consistently year after year but they're just so <laughs> so beautiful um so right at this moment this is the kind of magical part of the willow is that at this time of year you can literally Probably pop that ground. into the ground yeah, shoot. Yeah. and it'll take it's root <clears throat> so um, what do they grow it from so they grow they grow it grafted they grow it on a yeah, so it starts with like a, what they call it a strike. So it's like a foot long stick, yeah. like so, and that's pushed in the ground and it establishes into like a stool, like you would have a hazel a coppice. Um, and then I believe they use machinery to cut it. It's not all done by hand, but it's because uh, <laughs> they've got acres and acres. Um, but uh, but yeah, every, every this time of year it's cut and then it's dormant and it's ready to plant before the leaf. And so is that one year's growth? Yeah. Effectively. Yeah. Wow, well, it's pretty fast growing. Yeah, it is. Um, off a really established bed, bed with yeah. a good yeah. root system. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing here is uh, is attempting to graft them together so that you we're sort of working with a I don't know a ten foot stick and we're trying to make them into. 20, 30 foot, yeah. um, and uh, over time the steelwork becomes a, a trellis, and yeah. then we can kind of tie them back. It's like a, there's an evolution to it, isn't there? Really, it's a kind of it'll be something that we look at every year and tie back. And um, no, definitely. And then we're sort of trying to think how we can actually encourage it to root a bit more higher, and uh, whether we have the little sprinkler heads or something like that that will uh, help it. Yeah, but it's all experimental in that. I mean, obviously, down the bottom here is easy to keep irrigated yeah. and encourage the growth. But I mean, what what concerns me is how much time I'm going to have to be climbing over the spray, <laughs> clipping it back. <laughs> so, yeah, all very exciting. 
they will be able to see it all in uh, in full, its full glory in uh, in a few months time when we come back hopefully by the end of uh well i think by the end of may we'll be uh, probably finished by here by the time it's done it's done as much we've got a few pine trees coming in i'm um, already planted quite a few last year we've got another five five or eight going to come in so we fill in an area over here a bit more um and then the other last thing that's going to happen in a couple of weeks time is the fire pit um which is all being built out of stone so that's going to be very exciting um so yeah lots more to come so on to the next uh, next chapter um later on in uh well, i'd say what april and everything's going to be bursting out i'm already getting excited about it beginning to see the daffodils now and we know we're on the south that 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 uh, period in time where there's going to be so much happening um and uh yeah as i always say forward exciting